So you're just a plumber. You crawl around under houses like a rat in dirt and muck. You could be an executive in an office and I could have had a nicer lifestyle. But no, you had to be a plumber because you like to fix people's pipes. You might as well have been a surgeon if you wanted to fix people's pipes, you know, made more money. If I was married to a executive, he'd be taking me to a hotel restaurant in a much nicer neighborhood than this shithole in the wall. And just a reminder, James, wipe your fucking feet when you come in my house. You think you're hot shit on a silver platter? Well, you are as cold piss in a paper cup. Oh, look at you trying to find your voice. It's cute. Really. Trying to find my voice? <laughs> well, what about this? Fuck you. What? Do you think you're man enough to shut me up? Give me a break. Oh, a little intermission before Act Two? Cutting me down to size? Is this what you wanted to see? What's on your plate? Well, Karen, here's our toxic love. Cheers. <laughs> what the fuck, Karen? Are you out of your mind? Oops. It looks like you lost your taste for danger, James. Come on, let's test. Tell me what's really on your mind, little man. Too scared to tell me the truth? Oh, Karen, I'm just so tired of your belittling. You had your foot on my neck, too, too. Oh, please, James. We both know you're just a lost cause. You know, you had me feeling like a pussy, and I hated myself for it. Well, maybe it's time for your sick little pet project to show you what he's capable of.
So, James, are you going to keep avoiding the inevitable? You don't need to tell me how fucking pathetic you are. Just look in the damn mirror. There, I fucking signed it, bitch. You happy? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? So much for taking a stand, James. You can't even sign your fucking name. You say that